Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this 3D flipping card effect for your website. We'll not be using any library for this. We'll build everything from scratch using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. I'll be writing the code in VS Code. So I have opened up this project called 3D Flip and in that we have a directory called images and uh, there we have all the Facebook, Instagram and uh, Twitter logos and the photos of the two members. Alright, so let's start by creating an HTML file. So we'll just create a new file and we'll just give it a name of index.html and we'll also create a file for the CSS. Alright, let's start with the HTML. In VS Code we have an extension called Emmet already installed. So you can just type exclamation and press tab and uh, you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, now we'll just link our style.css file over here. Now let's start by creating a division to contain everything and uh, we'll give it a class of flip box container. And in that first of all we'll have an h2 and we'll type contributors. I'll just open this with live server. This is an extension called live server which you can find in VS Code. So if you go to extensions and uh, search for live server you can find this extension you can just install that and uh, then you can view your changes live on your browser all right so the heading is done now let's create a folder to contain both the flip boxes so we'll just type flip boxes and uh, in that will create the two flip boxes so we'll just uh, create a division with the class of flip box for the single box and uh, in that we'll have two sections one is the front part and the next is the back part so we'll just create a division with the class of front and uh, then also a division with the class of back now in the front we have the image of the person and uh, then the name so in the front we'll just create one more division with the class of profile image and in that we'll have an image so here we'll just type images slash team member one dot png and then we have the name so for that we'll just create a division with the class of description and we'll just type the name over here all right that's it with the front division now let's go to the back division and in the back we have a heading called follow me and then we have these social media icons so let's go over here and uh, we'll create an s3 and uh, we'll just type follow me and for all the social media icons, uh, we'll create a division with a class of social icons. And in that we'll have anchor tags and in those anchor tags we will have the images. So we'll type A and for the href you can type the link of the social media account. But for now I'll just type hash. And in the anchor tag we will have the image and we'll type images slash facebook.png. And I'll just copy this anchor tag and paste it two more times. And the second one is uh, Instagram and the third one is Twitter. So that's it with the first card. Now let's copy the first card and uh, we'll just paste it one more time. And uh, this is the second card. For the second card we'll make some changes. So we'll just change the image and uh, then we'll change the name. And then you also need to change the links of the social media accounts over here. But I have just put hash over here so I don't need to change anything. So that's it with the HTML. Now let's go to our style.css and uh, let's start styling our page. The first thing we'll target is the flip box container. And uh, for that we'll give a font family of Roboto. And uh, we'll give a maximum width of 600 pixels. Now if you maximize your browser we can see that all the content is on the left side. So here if you type margin 0 for top and bottom and for the left and right if you type auto then everything will be centered. So here you can see that our uh, flipbox division is centered horizontally. The next thing we'll target is uh, the h2. So we'll type flipbox container h2 and for the h2 we will text align it to the center and we'll change the color of the text to dark gray and uh, padding of 30 pixels and the text transform to uppercase 
and a font size of 26 pixels and we'll also give a border bottom of one pixel solid light gray all right now let's target the flip boxes division so we'll type flip boxes and uh, we'll give a padding of 20 pixels and uh, we'll set the display to flex now these images are too big so we'll just target the flip box division and we'll set a width of 200 pixels and then we also need to change the size of the img tag as well so we'll type flip box profile image img and we'll set the width to 100 percent all right so in our flip boxes we will also set the justify content to space around so that it will have even space around the cards now first of all we'll design the front part of our card so we'll just type flip box front will give a background color of dark gray now let's add some more styles to the image so for the image we'll give a height of 180 pixels and we'll also set the object fit to cover so that the image will have the correct proportions and we'll also give a border radius of 10 pixels 40 pixels 10 pixels and 55 pixels now let's style the description so we'll type flip box front description and uh, we'll give a padding of 16 pixels and text aligned to center we'll set the color of the text to light gray and font weight to bold and we'll also give a box shadow of 0 negative 8 pixels 4 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.5 now we have a little bit of gap over here between the profile image and the description so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and target the profile image division and we'll set a height of 180 pixels all right that solves the problem now for the image you can just type height of 100 percent of the parent all right that's it with the front part of the design now let's design the flip box back division so we'll type flip box back and uh, for that we'll give a background color of dark gray and we'll give a height of 231 pixels this is the height that we have for the front part so we have given the same height to the back and uh, we'll set the display to flex and the flex direction to column and uh, align items to the center and justify content to the center now let's target the S3 and for the S3 we will set the color to light gray and text transform to uppercase and now let's style the social icons so we'll type flip box back social icons A and we'll give a margin of 0 for the top and bottom and 8 pixels for left and right alright so now that we have designed the front and the back divisions let's go ahead and position them correctly now we have to position the front and the back divisions at the same position so first of all let's go to the parent division that is the flip box division and we'll set the position to relative and uh, now let's go to flip box front and flip box back and uh, here we will set position to absolute and we'll set the width to 100 percent and we'll also give a border radius of 10 pixels right now the back division is on the top so let's go to the front division and uh, we'll give a z index of 10 so that it'll be in the front so we have positioned everything correctly now let's style the hover part so whenever we hover over these cards we want it to flip so here we'll type flip box hover back and uh, before that we need to go over to the back division and uh, we need to set the rotation to minus 180 degrees so here we will just type transform rotate y to minus 180 degrees and uh, now here we can type transform rotate y to 0 degrees and we'll set the z index to 10 and uh, here we will set the z index to 
minus 1 and we'll just copy this and paste it for the front and when we hover we need to change the rotation of the front division to 180 degrees and we'll also change the z index to minus 1 now if you hover over this we can see that it changes the rotation but we want to have a smooth animation for that so let's go to the styles of the front and the back divisions and uh, here we'll give a transition of all to one second now if you hover over this we can see that the flip is working but there's still something missing we don't have the 3d effect completely applied to our card so for that we have to add a new property called perspective so in the flip box we will type webkit perspective and you can play with different values over here and uh, check them out but I'll just type 1000 and for some browsers you can just type perspective and type 1000 so now if you hover over this we can see that we have the 3d effect now the last thing we'll do is we'll have a custom ease to our animation so if you go to the original design we can see that when you hover over this we have a different kind of ease when we flip we can see that it goes a little beyond and then comes back so for that we'll just go ahead and uh, in the transition here we'll set a custom ease value so i have used a cubic bezier for this and you can play with different values and get different results so here I will just type 0 0.3 1.13 0 0.79 and 1.24 so now if you hover over this we can see we have the correct easing animation now if you want to experiment with this cubic bezier you can just go and right click over here and go to inspect and uh, then select the division so it is the front and the back so if you click on this button right here you can change these things and uh, you can find your own cubic bezier values so after you are done with that just copy this and paste it to your code and that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll also leave the link of the source code in the description. And uh, in the next videos, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.